This is a video that many of you who hold the title atheist, homosexual, or liberal may very well disagree with and hate. That being said, you've been forewarned and feel free to unsubscribe as I'm a Christian and this is my unchanging opinion. I couldn't stay silent on this issue because I've had just about enough of the fascist homosexual mafia and the libtards crying about what Kirk Cameron said on a Piers Morgan segment of CNN. Kirk Cameron is a Christian actor that has done a lot of good movies such as the Left Behind movies, Fireproof, and another one coming out um, that me and my girlfriend will be seeing and supporting, which is called Monumental. Piers Morgan was badgering Kirk Cameron to give his opinion on same-sex marriage slash homosexuality. I think Piers Morgan was setting him up for a libtard brigade attack myself, but I digress. Kirk Cameron said what any real Christian would say when asked this question, except he did it with a lot less strength and firmness than I would have wanted him to say, say it with. This is because Kirk knows how intolerant the tolerant preaching liberals and homosexuals are. In fact, Jesus Freak did a video, you know, supporting Kirk Cameron, link in the description, and he summed up everything that I wanted to say in this video. Now, in my video, I'm not using any arguments against same-sex marriage or homosexuality. I'm simply addressing the issues that Kirk Cameron and Jesus Freak brought up. In fact, Jesus Freak wasn't even using these arguments. He's just bringing up the issue of Kirk Cameron. So the issue here is free speech and hate speech. This video is simply addressing the liberal hypocrisy. That is the focus of this video. Not arguments for or against same-sex marriage. Not arguments for or against homosexuality. I've done that in the past. I don't have time for it. But I noticed when reading some of the comments, a user saying someone by the name of Bionic Dance owned Jesus Freak on this topic. So being that I question the validity of that, I checked out Bionic Dance's video. And what I saw was the equivalent to Dynamite Ruby's video flying off on a tangent with non-arguments and appeals to emotion. Her video is simply a joke, and she launches a ton of ad hominem attacks against Jesus Freak and Kirk Cameron. I'm going to skip over the first half of her video because it's just her doing nonsensical rantings and cursing. I'll start with the legal definition of hate speech, and I will address her there. In law, hate speech is any speech, gesture, or conduct, writing, or display which is forbidden because it may incite violence or prejudicial action against or by a protected individual or group, or because it disparages or intimidates a protected individual or group. So, pretty much, for all you atheists out there that are the militant ones that have speech that is regarded as offensive to even religious groups, that is under the legal definition of hate speech. The reason why I bring up religion is because religion is also a protected group. So, while accusing a Christian of hate speech, she herself, if you look at her videos, including the very video I'm talking about, commits hate speech. Unfreaking believable. If we were to go by this definition to abolish all speech, then nobody would be able to say anything about their opposition. Because speech against something is always offensive to the person under that something. Telling homosexuals that we are unnatural, that we are detrimental to society, is, under the legal definition, hate speech, and you have engaged in it. So here she says that calling a homosexual unnatural and detrimental to society is the legal definition of hate speech, but that is not what Jesus Freak said. Jesus Freak was not talking about homosexuals. He was talking about homosexuality, the lifestyle. There's a difference between the person living the lifestyle and the lifestyle itself. Not only that... But saying a lifestyle is unnatural and detrimental to society is not hate speech because it does not incite violence towards homosexuals. By her cockamimi definition, nearly everyone is guilty of hate speech. The 
fact is, if people were saying these kinds of things about Christians, you too would be screaming bloody murder and you know it. If we said that Christianity was unnatural, that Christianity is detrimental to society, that Christianity should not be legally allowed the way, say, gay marriage should not be legally allowed, you'd be flipping your fucking wig and you know it. Hypocrite! Do I really need to play all these atheist videos that do just that? against Christians and Christianity? Do I really need to go there? No, I don't, because you know it's there. So she's pretty much being a hypocrite while calling Jesus Freak a hypocrite, which is, in and of itself, hilarious. When I completed the video, there's absolutely no arguments whatsoever in the video. She's simply just crying and whining and using appeals to emotion. There's no real argument in this video whatsoever. It's frustrating to listen to because it's utterly ridiculous. And yet you think that Kirk Cameron's extraordinarily hateful comments were soft selling it. Does anyone else see the problem here? Or are you just that stupid, Jesus Free? Let me be one of the first to stand up and say that both you and Kirk Cameron are disgusting bigots who have nothing to say worth hearing. Whew, Lord, oh my gosh. Wow, man. So pretty much throughout the entire video, she curses, she launches ad hominem attacks against Jesus Freak, and she completely misuses the definition of hate speech. You know, the kicker and the best part of this video is after all this hoopla and whining about inciting violence, she goes and tells Jesus Freak, why don't you tell me that in my face, huh? I dare you, I dare you, tell me in my face. Inciting violence. It's just freaking incredible. <laughs> it's just incredible. Tell one of us, tell me to my face that I'm unnatural, that I'm detrimental to society, huh? Say it to me. Do you have the courage to actually say that to me? Say it to my face. I dare you. Come on. Now, while I agree with what Kirk Cameron said, I would have added to the theory of me having a child that turned out homosexual as follows. And this is only for the sake of argument. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Period. That means as long as they're living under my roof, they would not be allowed to be involved in any same-sex relationships. If they're adults still living with us, they're welcome to leave and pursue whatever lifestyle they wish. When they're old enough to move out and on their own, they, however, would not be allowed to bring their partner to my house. And if they decide to get married, I would also be absent from said wedding. That's the bottom line. When I say I do not support the lifestyle, I mean it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's all I gotta say on this issue, man. Like Jesus Freak said, you don't have a right to not be offended. Things that people say are going to offend you. A lot of things that atheists will say will offend a lot of Christians. That's their right to say that, though. A lot of things that Christians will say will offend homosexuals. That's their right to say it, though. And unless I'm calling upon violence towards homosexuals, which I don't, and which I would never do, that's not hate speech. And that's the bottom line. This is Crazy316. I'm out.